Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will discuss some of the questions from computational complexity chapter which have been asked in the previous year board papers. So there is one question from ISC 2010 theory paper. What is the worst case complexity of the following code segment? So as you can see in this question, we have two separate loops. The first loop is running n times and the second loop is running m times. So the worst case complexity of the following code should be n plus m steps and this is roughly linear in nature. The second part of the question asks how would the complexity change if the second loop went to n instead of m. So then both the variables will be the same here n plus n which is 2n and when we drop the constant so we are left with n and that's why this is also linear in nature. There's one more question from ISC 2010 paper. What is big O notation? State its significance. So big O notation is used to depict an algorithm's growth rate. It tells us about the change in an algorithm's performance as its input size grows. State its significance. Big O notation is significant because it simplifies the analysis and comparison of algorithmic efficiency and helps in designing scalable and optimized algorithms. Obviously, big O notation, when we find out the big O notation for any algorithm, it helps us to analyze the performance of that algorithm. We can easily compare two algorithms and we can decide which is better. So this is the significance of the big O notation. In 2011, it's a repeat. This question has been asked again. What is big O notation? I've already discussed this question. Let's move to the next slide. In 2015, one question came from computational complexity. Give the meaning of the following common expressions in big O notation. So first one is big O n. Now this n, it means linear growth. Whereas big O n squared, it means quadratic growth. One more question came in the year 2015. List any two cases to analyze algorithm complexities. So there are three cases, best case, worst case and average case. You can write any two. I have written best case and worst case. Again in ISA 2015, one question came, define computational complexity. Calculate the complexity using big O notation for the following code segment. So computational complexity refers to the measure of the performance of an algorithm in terms of time and space. Now again, when we look at this loop, this loop is executing n times. And that's why the time complexity of the above code segment would be big O of n. In the year 2017, one question came, what is the worst case complexity of the following code segment? Here also we have two separate loops. In the first loop, we can clearly see the loop is running A times, whereas the second one is a nested loop. In the outer loop, the loop is running B times, whereas the inner loop is running C times. So the number of steps would be a plus b into c, which is roughly big O of b into c. And that's why I would say that this is quadratic in nature, n squared. In the second part of the question, when they have asked, how would the complexity change if all the three loops went to n instead of a, b, and c? So instead of a plus b squared, now we have n plus n squared. So n squared is the dominant term. So we drop n and that's why the complexity is big O n squared. Year 2018, define big O notation. I've already given the definition. 
state two factors which determine the complexity of an algorithm. So the two main factors are time and space. So we check the performance of an algorithm on the basis of time, how much time it takes to solve a given problem and how much space it occupies in the computer's memory to solve that problem. Year 2019, one question came, compare the two complexities big O n squared and big O of 2 to the power n and state which is better and why. So we know that n squared is quadratic in nature whereas 2 to the power n is exponential in nature and therefore big O of n squared is much more efficient than big O of 2 to the power n because as n increases n squared is very very small when compared to 2 to the power n. For example, if you take n as 100, then n squared is 10,000. But 2 to the power n or me or you can say 2 to the power 100 is a huge huge number. So we can clearly understand that quadratic complexity is much more efficient than exponential complexity. ISC 2020 state the best case and the worst case complexity for bubble sort algorithm. Now when would we have best case in a bubble sort? So the best case of bubble sort is when the list is already sorted and the time complexity in that case would be big O of n, linear in nature. Whereas the worst case for bubble sort would be when the list is sorted in reverse order. Let's say you want to arrange the elements in ascending order, but the elements right now are arranged in descending order. So in that case, the time complexity would be big O of n squared. So these are some of the questions that have come in the previous year question papers. I hope you have found these questions useful to get an understanding what kind of questions are asked from this chapter computational complexity. So that's all for now. See you in the next class very soon. Thank you for watching.